Hi, welcome back to the channel and the Jira Admin series. Today, I'll talk about the Forms Data Connection. Previously, we had the Forms in the Jira Service Management, but now we have in the Jira software as well. So let's see how we can do that. This is my Jira instance and now I'll go to the issues here. In my previous video, I talked about the screens and the fields, but now today I'll talk about the Forms Data Connection. If you are a Jira admin and when you will go to the setting and click on the issues, then you will be able to see this in the left sidebar. When you will click in the data connection, then this page will open and here you can see the data connection allow you to load data from an external source into the form choice list, which is great. And now I will come here in the documentation of the Atlassian where you can read the forms can retrieve the JSON data from the REST API and use this data to populate choice list on form. And in order to use the external data in form, you need to set up a connection. Now we'll go and see how we can set up this connection. We will come here again and here we have to set the connection. I have already made a connection with the name of sample data connection. We will see about the setting when I will click on the edit then I have the four steps here connect test configure and confirm in the connect you need to write down the name of the connection and this name will be displayed to people designing forms but not the people filling out the forms and here you cannot change the connection type it will be rest api so you cannot edit it you have to mention the url and here you have to choose the authentication method right now it's none because i'm using this api where is no authentication is required what i am doing here i am fetching the list of the cities on the basis of the reason and here is a cache result where you can choose it should be one minute five minutes 15 minutes one hour or eight hour okay when you will click on the next then you can see the response okay http response is 200 okay it means the connection is successful and if the connection is successful you can retrieve the data i will click on next and here you can see the data in the json format and we have the items id and labels here you have to choose the name of the items and then you have to select the id and then you have to select the labels as well now you can go and save it you can check the connection and here you can check the ids and label here and then you can click on the save now i will come back again to the docs here because i want to tell you what is the items id and labels that we have selected when we were creating our data connection so what are the items actually the list or the array of the objects within the json data set that contains the required data okay an id means the object must contain an id value that be a number or a string and label any individual string field within the project and this field vote will be displayed to users on the form so this is the meaning of items id and labels that we are selecting here when i was editing it and in the configuration part we, i was selecting the items id and label here you can see it sorry i need to go back yeah items id and labels so items means the list or the array of the object within the JSON data set that contains the required data you have to choose from this drop down and ID means the object must contain an ID value that may be a number or a string. Okay, so this is the connection. Now I will go back here, back, back. If you want to create a new connection, you can simply click on the add and you will again find the same four steps that you need to perform. Okay, I will go back. Now the question is how I will use this data in my forms in the multi list. So this is my form here. You can see this is the form and how I design this form. Okay, when you will go to any project and when you will come here, you need to visit this URL means the project, the project key and then settings and forms. When you will hit the enter, then this particular page will open where you can create your form. You can create a form blank or from the template. I have already created a one form which is international roaming request. If you can see, then we have an option to add it, duplicate, copy direct link, copy to project and delete. So I'm going to edit it so that I can show you what I did. Here you can see this is uh, the country name field and 
sorry i need to click it again and the type is drop down when you will come here then in the data connection you have to choose the connection sample data connection like this you can connect this drop down list from this sample data connection it means the data will come from the sample data connection so ideally the country name will display the name of the countries by reason and the reason that i have selected over there in a my data connection was the euro okay now i will come here in the form and here you have an option to design your form like you can make it from with the help of the templates if you want to add more fields in your form then you can do it from here and from here you can add the section so this is pretty cool how you can design your form and when i will come here let's suppose i want this departure date should be linked with the start date like this you can also link your form fields with your jira fields with the help of the linked jira field here you can set the default response you can write the description and you can set the validation also so you can set the validations and the other requirements of the fields as per your requirement of the form this is the way how you can design the form in the jira you have to visit this url basically and then you will get a option to create your form after that you can create your form you can add the fields you can remove the fields it depends on your requirements and when you will click on the templates then you will have lot of templates here like popular for the business for the customer service design facilities finance hr it legal marketing and the sales you can design your forms with the option that we have here to select the templates now i'll go back and here you can see we have the three things build we have build our form now we'll go to the preview so this is the preview how our form will look like and the third one is setting where we have some settings like locations you can create a shareable link like uh, on you can choose the issue type it means when someone will fill the form then which issue type should be created under your jira project so this is the option where you can choose it should be task epic story bug or the any other custom issue type here we have the preferences means manage how this form behaves when a request is raised or an issue is created like keep this form open for edit once is submitted or ignore all field validation on this form save a pdf version of this form each time it's resubmitted lock this form once it's submitted so many admins can add it so we have these preferences you can set according to your requirement and we can select the languages for the validation messages and the buttons also we have the option to change the language here so like this we can change the language also now i'll go back to the forms okay i'll click go back to the form now it's time to test so i'll open this particular form i can copy the direct link here and then i can paste it here this is my form i can refresh it and we will do a testing here okay i will choose a country let's suppose it's russia name is monica my job title is atlassian consultant and then i have to write down the phone number email department and something like that but these are not required okay these are optional i want to put it my departure date which is let's suppose could be 17th and i can write down few comments this is my test with the video this is just the uh, testing form this is not like the international roaming request form like i need all the fields here this is just for the testing you can make your forms as per your need now i'm gonna create it and after that it will come to my dev project with the task or you can say with the issue key dev191 and the issue type is task here here you can see this is the international roaming request and when you will come here then you can see the start date is already settled because i have already linked that date with the departure date when you will click in the attach form then all the details are here 
the departure date is 17 january 2024 and here i have linked the departure filled with the start date that's why it's already filled here so this is the way how you can create the data form connection this is how you can use the form data connection in Jira. You can retrieve the JSON data from the REST API and then use this data in your forms to populate the choice list in the form. If you found this video useful then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my latest content. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.